of two young women killed in a wrong way wreck on the Sawgrass Expressway are now suing, and not just the driver charged in that terrible wreck. Local 10 News reporter Mark Jackman has the details of the lawsuit. Attorneys of the two victims' families are now also suing the cell phone company T-Mobile, where Kayla Mendoza worked, arguing under Florida law that companies are responsible for their employees at work-related events. The self-proclaimed pot princess that police say caused the deadly crash driving the wrong way on the Sawgrass Expressway is being sued by the two victims' families. Mendoza, who tweeted, too drunk to care the night of the crash, was supposedly drinking with employees and managers of the T-Mobile store she worked for. He, the mobile store operator employees themselves have testified that, in fact, they were there, that she was there with them, wearing their uniforms. After receiving drinks underage at the bar and restaurant Tijuana Taxi Co., Mendoza drove off alone. They knew she was underage, Kayla Mendoza, and they allowed her to drink at 20 years old to the point of oblivion. We want Kayla to be able to take accountability for what she did and for every party that's liable for what happened, they need to be held accountable. You can't put uh, monetary value on, on what happened on this day, but we can hold everybody that's accountable for it. Their attorneys say the monetary value will be decided during the lawsuit. The family members are also suing the restaurant and bar and Mendoza's ex-boyfriend who lent her the car. Tomorrow at 3.30, the two families will be holding a roadside safety gathering open to the public on Commercial Boulevard and Sawgrass. New wrongway signs have been put in place, the hope being a tragedy like this doesn't happen again. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Mark Jackman, Local 10 News.